Alright guys, this is a tour of my 275 day survival which I've been playing on non-stop for the past week. Now, j just flying around here, you can see most of the stuff I've done, which, okay, let's just get right into it. This is my uncomplete iron farm. So, you got the villagers in here. They they all have work stations. There's a there's a zombie in this boat under the slab, so he doesn't have to die. And then the iron golem should only spawn in here because all of this dirt has been turned into a path. So he can't spawn. And iron golems can't spawn on paths. And the buttons are up there, so then the iron golems don't spawn up there. But the iron goes into all these chests. And yeah, all these iron blocks are made from iron that I've gotten from this farm. Which is just insane. I have many of these infinite water sources all around my base. I, I use water for many, many things. Let's go over here. This is the village. It's, it's, the, it's the village of breeding. Basically, I, I got this support from someone on YouTube. But, so, the villagers, they have all these carrots, so they eat them. They breed the baby villagers. They think there's an extra head over here. So they'll run. They fall in there. They'll, they, they'll come over here. And then once they grow up, they come up into here. And I haven't been eating villagers for next year. There's just a ton. But most of the time, I'll put them in my villager trading hall. Yeah. I don't really use this for much. I really have like, all the enchantments I need on a lot of my stuff. Like, especially on this. That's why I'm mending on a lot of my armor, which I should probably get. That's really good. What? How am I not? Okay, this is also my mob farm right here. I don't use it for much except for repairing my stuff that has mending, like my pickaxe and stuff. And like my swords, all that. I haven't upgraded my sword to diamond yet. Probably should. But we are also in the midst of making a beetroot farm over here. So once I finish that, I'll make a video on it. I'm I I want to end up expanding it all the way to this wall over here so just have it cover up this entire area but i i have to repair my shovel first this is my lava pool this is my personal lava pool i don't use it anymore because i don't need to use it i'll probably end up getting rid of it though and there's many many creeper explosion holes all around my base most of them I've patched back up, but like if you come back over here, this one like three creepers have exploded in. This one a couple have, and really it's just like all over the place. Creepers exploded right there. Still haven't fixed that. I probably should. But I want to end up destroying this village so that I just have more space to build. And this is my wheat farm for right now. I want to expand it. I'm expanding a lot of my stuff. And then we'll come over to the beacon. This is the chunk that I've been working on mining out. I, I just started this a few days ago, so I've been slowly making my way through it. Earlier, I just started using this trick where you take uh, moss blocks, and then if you bone meal them, It'll spread the moss onto like the stone, and you can just instantly break it with a hoe. 
so I was doing that earlier. And yeah, the, all the stone in this wall is from this chunk right here. Yeah. That's really, yeah, this is my very uncomplete house. Oh, my bed. This is Jerry right here. He's he defeated the Ender Dragon all by himself. He also got my he he also got me an Elytra. So, um, comment you love Jerry if you if you love Jerry because we love Jerry. We love you, Jerry. This is my valuables chest. These are a lot of my enchanted books. Got my ominous bottles from the ominous bottle farm, which is ways away. Let's go. Let's go to my unfinished creepy farm. Oh, no. Other direction. It's over here. Yeah. My creeper farm. I started building it yesterday. Got to put the torches down, so a bunch of mobs spawned in there. And a creeper spawned in there. Still working on it. There's a ship right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, I started working on this. There used to be snow golems in there. Yeah, they just exploded this entire thing. So yeah, I need these. I don't know why I left them here. So I was working on this yesterday. I just never grabbed my shelter box today. This is my ice spike spine. I honestly forget where the stronghold is because, you know, I'm, I didn't place it that day. I meant to, but. Yeah. This is my world. This is also my wood farm and my sheeps. My shepherds and my cows. Actually, let's, let's breed the cows. This is also my enchanting area. Where I enchant my stuff. So yeah, one gen is gonna get one break three. Yeah, I'm gonna level three if that won't work. Where'd my hoe go? That's oh, right there. Okay, dude. I I like didn't see it in my inventory, I was so confused. What's that sound? Okay, let's skip enchantments. So on our diamond leggings with the eye armor trim that we got from the stronghold, we have protection two, swift sneak three, and unbreaking two. We have unbreaking three and mending on our elytra. We have protection three and mending on our helmet. On our chest plate, we have projectile protection three, unbreaking two, and the eye armor trim. On our sword, our shovel, we have efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, and mending. 
sword, we have sharpness four, fire aspect two, diamond hoe, we don't have any. On our pickaxe, we have efficiency five, unbreaking three, and mend. Ah. Yeah, this is my survival world that I've been playing on. Homestop.